Good afternoon. Today we have a wisdom visitor, Professor Marco. We appreciate you taking the time to speak with us about the issue of lost identities and challenges in Mexican education. Could you start by telling us how you perceive the impact of cultural erosion on the education system? And a good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. Cultural erosion has left a deep mark on our education from childhood. Students are exposed to a curriculum that subtly devalues their own cultural roots. An ideal of beauty and success based on Western standards is promoted, affecting the self-esteem and cultural identity of the students. How do you see the relationship between the adoption of Spanish as the main language and the loss of native languages, including Nahuatl? Could you share a specific experience you've observed in your students that reflects this struggle for cultural identity? The adoption of Spanish as the main language has significantly contributed to the loss of our native languages, including the precious Nahuatl. Social pressure to conform has led many to relegate their mother tongues to the background. This linguistic loss is a direct reflection of the cultural erosion we are witnessing. The impact is profound. Cultural erosion affects the students' identity, leading them to disdain fundamental aspects of their cultural heritage, such as their skin color, traditions, and in many cases, even their names. This creates a painful disconnection between who they are and what they believe they should be according to foreign standards. We've talked about cultural erosion, but we've also mentioned the importance of Nahuatl. How do you believe the revitalization of native languages, such as Nahuatl, can contribute to counteracting this phenomenon? Certainly, I've had students who, due to social pressure and imposed stereotypes, have come to reject their mother tongue and expressed a desire to adopt behaviors and lifestyles that mimic foreign models. Another bad experience with decades is, is taking a crucial impact still. There's the narcocultura that is evolving through young men and girls, like the garbage music inventing the wealthy and power over other men fantasies. Materialism is the current living life. And the worst things kids are adopting, this drugs gangster brainwash fantasy, this internal struggle, is heartbreaking. Marco, for sharing your insights on this crucial issue. We hope your words inspire deeper reflection on the need to preserve our cultural identities in the education system. Thank you for as I see them drift away from their authentic Mexican cultural identification of native languages and to, to restore the connection to our cultural roots. Now, what in particular is a treasure that holds the ancestral wisdom of our forefathers. By fostering respect and promotion of these languages in the educational setting, we can empower students to embrace their cultural identity and at the same time preserve our rich linguistic heritage. Giving a voice to this uh, crucial issue, sharing our cultural identities is essential for the healthy development.